welcome to I Love Stocks, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about a new IPO that came out, and that's CPNG. So we'll get right into it. It's a new commerce, e-commerce South Korea IPO that just came out, and it's kind of like the uh, Amazon, kind of like the Jamia, kind of like a few others, Baba, but this deals with South Korea, and South Korea is a booming economy. And this is one we want to keep an eye out on. So I'm going to go straight. Well, there's, let's talk about the lockup here. Um, Chupang sets early lockup release for 34 million shares held by employees. And that, I think, was released on the 18th, if I remember right. Let me go ahead and... Chipang has announced the early stock lockup agreement released on 34 million shares held by employees following this Korea e-commerce giant's initial public offering last week. Uh, the when public offering went at $35 a share on March 11th, opened at 63, <laughs> 63.50, almost double, and when the settling in at around 50 bucks, according to the company's IPO prospectus. Chupang had agreed to release the stock falling on the third trading day of the stock closed at the above the IPO, IPO price. That requirement was fulfilled on Monday. Chupang said that under the terms laid out in the prospectus, the shares will be eligible for trade on the morning of March 18th, and the company is about 1.8 billion shares outstanding on a fully diluted basis. Other lockup restrictions remain in place, and I don't know what them restrictions are. I'll probably give them to you on a later release of an update on this video. But this stock I'm talking about is CPNG, and I think it's going to be one to watch. I'm going to try to buy it in at support. It's starting to consolidate now and starting to find a range, and we'll go ahead and look straight into the chart. This is my TTM setup that I use. I have many charts that I go by. You can't always rely on one. There's always other indicators that can tell you that there's a buy signal going on. And I have probably, oh, I'm, it's a, I got an arrangement of charts that I use. And I'm always using, going over different case studies to kind of go back in my mind and how to reuse them. But for right now, this is the uh, one hour chart right here. Well, this is a 30 minute. So let's take it to the one hour, 20 day, one hour. We had a high up here right around 69 and we had a low right down here at 42. So that lockup is now unlocked and employees are able to take profit if they want. I'd probably, if I was an employee, not desperate, I'd probably just go ahead and hold on to this company and see if we can run it back up here right around this $52 area. I'm saying right around, you know, 52.28. Let me get these things in here. So I'm going to be definitely, this is also uh, has options available to it right now. So I'll go through them too. We're going to try to find some supports and some resistance levels that we want to take this trade. And I'm just kind of going to places where they consolidated. Then we'll run it up to the top here. And then at bottom support level, you know, I'd like to see it hold right here at right around the 43.22 area. If not, you'll have you a nice little double bottom at 42.43. And then we've got, right now we're at, we closed at 44.89 and we're at 44.95 after hours. So here's a nice spot right in here that we need to break at 45.41. Then you got your three support levels. So I'm going to find one more support right down here at $42. Okay, let's bring this up to the daily one minute. We'll get a real closer look at it. Not tell me much. Let's bring it to the five. That's better. So this is the way we're going to play it. We found an equilibrium here, uh, a pivot point area, a channel between 45, 41, and 47. So that's going to be like a little pivot point. And the resistance that we're going to have to break in that channel, let me go ahead and color this in. I mean, you can look at a chart and determine just by, it takes me probably 10 seconds to realize if I want to trade a stock or not, if I like the chart. 
And I usually go to a year daily and then a 20 day, one hour, and I always check the news. And if I can do this process within 10 to 20 seconds, I move on to another trade. But this stock I like, I think we're setting up an ascending triangle here. We have some higher lows, so she could be ready to break out if she pulls back one more time. And she does like to pull back a little bit, as you can tell. And if you have patience, you might want to wait for these three support levels. Strong buy down here at 42.43, 43.22, and then at 44.02 to hold. If that holds and we retrace back up, I think we can run this back up to this 45.41 and maybe Drake break this triple top up here. Oh, I'm thinking maybe right in this $46 area. Whoops. Let me change this. What did I say? 46. I never can get there. It is. I'm going to get that right. $46 is going to be like the pivot point in the channel. And it kind of spreads out up here to 46.34. So that's like the pivot point area in this channel. And if we can break past that. 46.34 we'll take it to 47.16 and then she'll just keep going on up and next resistance is right here at 48.69 then you got that 49.40 with a strong exit spot right here at 50.64 maybe you can go higher if you wanted to go long but this is one I'm definitely going to keep on my watch list and the other ones I have on this watch list is JMIA O-Z-O-N, Amazon, and BABA. So you want to keep all these T five together and kind of start your little watch list of e-commerce online sales companies. And that's it. So we got a strong buy down here at 43.42. That first support to hold at 44.02 maybe on Monday for a retracement back up to 45, excuse me, 45.41. Then you got that pivot point area in that channel that we need to break, and that's 46 to 46.34. And if we can bust that 34, we'll definitely get her on up, and she'll start picking up momentum after 47.16. And that's it for I Love Stocks. Subscribe, ring that bell, hit that like button if you like this video. Also, we do have a Twitter account. And if you follow us on Twitter, we'd really appreciate that. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here at all times. We only post runners and the ones that are in the money flow. I like to play them. I like to play about anything. I can play a bottom. I can play a top. I can play a mid-range. It just depends on where we are with the stock itself. Also on our website, we have our stock twits. You can hit that. This stock was alerted to me by Basscat on Friday, and I went ahead and looked at it, and I kind of like it. He's in our room. He's one of my mentors. I have many, and always remember, I love stocks. Everybody have a great weekend. Don't forget, I have an hour, maybe two-hour session today at Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be live on YouTube if I can get the thing running. So everybody have a great day, and I'll see you at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. I love stocks.